Erica Crowder, not present. Daniel Villanueva, Mr. Villanueva is coming forward and the final speaker will be LaCoya London. My name is Daniel Villanueva. I reside at 531 East Ledbetter Drive in the 75216 zip code. I represent myself. I'm here to speak on the site and release or site and summons program as it would more be it would be more accurately termed because police officers are not releasing the individual from the penalties and repercussions of cannabis possession. Rather, they are demanding that those cited show up to court where one would still face a judge and the misdemeanor charges for marijuana possession. If the accused does not show for court, if the accused does not show for court, the court will put out a warrant for arrest. With a vote to implement this pilot program approaching, I want to applaud DPD Chief Brown for trying to keep citizens safe from real crime and actual criminals by trying to increase response times by limiting the time officers take to process cannabis possession and to focus on crimes with a victim. This should be a no-brainer for this council. It would, it would certainly be less expensive than hiring dozens of new officers. The sight and summons law that is on the books here in Texas just needs to be implemented by the counties, honestly. It would be a boon for economically disadvantaged or poor citizens, as well as the statistically proven to be arrested at higher rates, even though use rates are equal across the board. Young black and brown men may not have to miss that time at work, causing them to lose their job if they do not show up, would not have to pay to get the car out of the impound lot, or to pay a bond to get out of jail for a victimless crime. I would also like to address the fact that some council members seem misinformed on cannabis. Cannabis is not a gateway drug that leads to other drug use. Cannabis was outlawed in 1937, less than 80 years ago. So to say marijuana has been illegal forever is disingenuous and inaccurate. By the way, Harry J. Anslinger, who was in office for over 32 years as commissioner of the Federal Bureau of Narcotics, said, Reefer makes the darkies think they're as good as white men. And quote, Marijuana encourages white women to seek sexual relations with Negroes, entertainers, and many others. This is racist propaganda and demeaning to women. Cannabis is the most studied planet on Earth. In states where recreational cannabis is legal, teenage use rates have dropped. Opioid overdoses, heroin deaths have dropped. If any of the council members would like a Cannabis 101, or a candid discussion on the matter, I will gladly set up any sort of time at any point in Dallas to meet with any one of you. Let's get the site and summons passed so we can ultimately protect as many citizens of Dallas as possible. Thanks and peace to you all. Thank you. Your next speaker, LaCoya London.